So we need to you can bypass units of CPUs which are SPD CPUs and if I click on the tab right here you will see that you can flash SPD firmwares you can read information you can remove pin and password and you can bypass SPD FRP that's really good and it supports a lot of uh, recent models as well so when it comes to LG right here so when it comes to LG you can see that you can select the port connect your LG select the port right here and also let me show you this right here you can select ports right here you can select USB ports right here when you connect the phones you understand so you can uh, check right here you can factory reset uh, LG mobile phone you can re re reboot to DL mode which is download mode in LG mobile phones and you can bypass FRP in MTP mode so this MTP mode you can see right here it said browser which means that it helps you launch browsers in the mobile phone so that you can be able to get into the browser download apps to bypass the mobile phone because most phones it's complicated to bypass when you don't have access to a browser so this tool helps you with that when it comes to LG mobile phones so if you come to iPhones right here you come to iPhone option right here you can see that uh, we have a couple of options right here so nothing much about this I already uploaded a, a video as you can see the tool is just directing you to the to the main iPhone unlocking tool which is a free tool in which I uploaded in which I uploaded the video uh, just a few days ago you understand so you can check the video in this video description or at the end of this video you will get the free iCloud unlocking tool so if you come to uh, ISP right here you will see that you can remove pin and password remove FRP disable MI cloud right here so this option is only enabled when you connect the phone to your PC using the ISP. You understand? Okay, so if you come to Qualcomm right here, you will see that we have a lot of options in which you can loan in which you can load Qualcomm a program file and you will be able to bypass FRP right here so it doesn't matter the, the, the mobile phone brand so as long as the mobile phone brand or model is using the Qualcomm CPU you can use this option right here so you can play with the tool take a good look so looking right here I'm just showing you all the things that the tool can do when it comes to MediaTek you can see that uh, if you come to the path manager right here you can see that you can do a couple of things remove frp erase mi cloud remove frp right here remove pin and you can do a couple of things right here as well so if you come to meta management right here you will see that you can read phone information right here you can remove pin method one you can remove pin method two which means that if you try to remove pin method one and it doesn't work try the method two you understand so if you take a good look right here you will see that we have uh, it the tool is going to direct you to another tool which is specified for uh, mtk only so it's a different tool for mtk only so in case you want a tool that supports only mtk then you are good to go you understand so for example if you want to unlock a pin maybe you are complicated uh, you don't really understand how you can use this tool it's very easy if you want to unlock a mtk device when you click on there you will see that it shows right here waiting for preloader connection which means that all you have to do is switch off the phone press and hold the volume up and the volume down then connect your usb cable once you connect that then the tool will automatically detect the phone and start the unlocking process so if you haven't installed the uh, preloader drivers then the tool won't be able to detect the phone so i have uh, all drivers flashing and unlocking drivers in my video description in which you can also download you understand so when it comes to samsung right here if it comes to Samsung right here, you will see that we have a lot of options right here. So we have uh, FRP, which is November 2022, which means that it's, uh, it supports the, the older patch of Samsung FRP. And we have the FRP new algorithms right here, which supports the, the newer security patch 
in Samsung. You understand? So you can, if you are unlocking FRP, you can try these two options as well. You can remove uh, Nox log right here. You can remove Nox right here. You can get information. You can enter download mode. So the, all this is in MTP option right here. If you switch to ADB right here, you can see that you can easily remove a Samsung account if ADB is enabled then enable mobile data toggle right here in case the the mobile data op, uh, option which is the icon is not available because it's very is uh, common to see the mobile data icon missing in samsung mobile phones okay so if i come to root right here you can see that you can change the csc file when the phone is root uh, rooted you understand so if i come to download mode if you come to download mode right here, you will see that uh, we have a lot of options right here as well. You can get the phone information back up and, and restore it right here. You can fix off the break. Maybe you are trying to unlock and the, the system crash and not boot in. You can fix that. You can erase none. You can uh, bypass FRP in all the Samsung devices. As you can see right here, you can bypass all the Samsung devices, the method 1 and the method 2 right here. So when it comes to FRP Samsung MTK, it supports all new security patch right here. So you can see right here, this option supports the newer security patch in Samsung phones that uses MTK CPU. So if I come to flash right here, you can see that you can flash Samsung file, you can flash all the, 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 the four firmware files or the five firmware files right here. So if I click on Android right here, let's see what we have here. We have a couple of options. So. We are not going to talk about this, they are very simple, they are very simple in which you can go through. So I'm not going to talk much again because all the other options are just similar to the other ones that I've showed, showed you. So this is Xiaomi right here, you can see that you can do unlock FRP in fast boot, side loader, flasher right here, all this stuff. You understand so if you click on setting right here you can see that you can install all the drivers so this is very important and one of the reasons why I always say you should watch my video all through so you can install these drivers though some version of drivers might not work that's why you can also download the drivers for my video description you understand so you can install these drivers just tap and you'll be able to install so right now how can you download this tool and how can you download this tool on your pc and how can you activate this tool follow my step right here to be able to do this so once you have downloaded the tool from my video description head on to the downloaded folder and you are going to see the tool setup file as you can see mine right here so make sure you follow my steps because the way to activate this tool is a little bit complicated but i'm going to walk you through that so if you follow my steps right here everything will be okay so the first thing that i will want you to do is to in is to uh, disable your antivirus so disable any antivirus that you are using or windows defender because it might stop the tool from installing or give you errors from installing okay so the first thing that i will want you to do before running the setup of this tool is to turn off your windows defender to avoid getting errors during installation or turn off any antivirus that you have so i'm going to turn off the the antivirus that I have right here I'm going to turn off my own antivirus I will turn off this for just 10 minutes so if you have only Windows Defender make sure that you switch off a Windows Defender so once you have turned off Windows Defender or any antivirus that you are running in your PC, just double click on this setup file right here. I'm going to minimize this. So once you have double click on the setup file, it's going to bring up the setup right here. What you're going to do, click on next, it's going to automatically select the destination folder right here. Click on next again and make sure that you have clicked on create a new desktop icon so that you won't have to go around finding the icon anytime time that you want to launch the tool so click on next again click on next and give it a few 
minutes or a few seconds installed depending on how fast your PC is. Okay, as you can see right here the installation is completed. So click on finish right here and then launch the tool. So you cannot see any icon right here because of the screen recorder that I'm using. But I'm going to launch the tool so that you will see. Okay, so once you launch the tool, you will have this screen right here. So it's asking you either you want to launch the old version of this, this tool or the newer version. So I'm giving you the new version, which is the most stable version that functions and upload a, a lot of recent devices. So you are going with the newer version right here. So click on this GSM new right here. Don't click on the old version. Click on this and give it. So even though everything is showing right here, you cannot use the toggle to do anything. You understand? So make sure that you follow my steps step by step to be able to activate this tool and start unlocking devices. So for you to activate this tool, just head on to this tick icon right here. You see this icon right here? Click on the icon. So once you click on it, it's going to open a new tab in your browser. And what you are going to do, just scroll down and you will see this, and you will see this register option right here. Click on it. And what you are going to do, the first option right here, the first option you are going to type in your username the second option input your email then the third option you are going to type in your password i'm going to do that right now So once you type in the password and confirm the password, click on sign up right here. So as you can see right here, it says registered success. So what you are going to do right here, you are going to click on the login option. So once you click on the login tab, you are going to type in your username right here. So I typed my username. The username that I created was Sages, right? And the password, I'm going to type in my password. So once you do that, you click on this option right here so that you won't have to type in all this all the time. So click on it. I think that's my network connection problem. So let me refresh the page. Okay, everything is okay right now. Everything is okay. So what you are going to do right here, you are going to come to the register serial right here. Click on this tab. Click on this tab and what you are going to input right here, you are going to go back to the tool. Okay, so once you tap right here and it gives this option, just click OK. So when you click OK, come back right here and paste this. All you have to do is to submit SN right here. Just click on that option. As you can see right here, successfully registered. So all you have to do right now is to come back to the tool. Come back to the tool, close the tool. Then, when you close the tool, you are going to reopen the tool. Let me show you what you are going to do right here. Okay, great. So, here you go. You can see that now you can start using the tool. I'm Sages Mike right here. And if you want my professional level course, which is hardware repairing, send me a message on WhatsApp because in my online course, you can learn mobile repairing starting from the basics of troubleshooting to the professional level of troubleshooting and fixing faults in a mobile PCB. So, thank you.